Hey guys, thanks for joining us on another episode of Dungeon Loot. I'm Dan. And I'm Vinny Pro. And today we'll continue reviewing some of the awesome items that have been sent to us from our friends over at Nord Games. Today we're going to take a look at some more decks that have been sent to us. This is a group of wandering monster decks that you can encounter in the wild. Alright, so the wandering monster decks, they have a an array of different terrains you can pull from. So this is and each waterways. De each deck is a different terrain. Correct, correct. Okay. And this is waterways. This is dungeons. Okay, and I have wilderlands and also underground. So different monsters for different settings. Okay, so let's crack these open and see how they operate. Sure. What do you got there? What are you opening? I am opening the waterways right now. Okay, and I have wilderlands. Very exciting. All right, so it comes with a little bit of an instruction card. It says, this deck can be used on the fly to create random encounters during gameplay or used while you're building your, out your own adventures. All the challenge ratings have been calculated for you, and the cards are specifically designed to inspire your creative creativity with their themes. Flavor text and interesting combinations of monsters. We hope you'll find yourself using as much... Uh, we hope you'll find yourself using a much more diverse collection of creatures than you might normally have, and that your players will be more entertained than ever. Happy gaming. Very cool. So, on the back of that, it actually gives you an instruction card. It says, add variety of game sessions with the addition of random encounters. Draw a card from the deck and roll the appropriate die, as determined by the left-handed column. Alternatively, pick the most appropriate CR encounter using the middle column. Be warned, rolling randomly may result in a very hard or just plain deadly <laughs> encounter. Fantastic. That's the way I like them. So, uh, all right, so I got the waterlands open here. I'm sorry, the waterways open here. And on the back, it looks like some sort of a snake fish head monster thing. Take a look at that. I'm not sure what that creature is. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull randomly from the deck. Let's see what we got here. Okay, so at the top of the card, it gives you a little descriptor of what you might find. It says, The greenish tips of its great wings brush the water as the creature looks about with lazy curiosity. And then if I roll a D8 and I get a 1 to 2 or a CR1, I will pull a Copper drag Dragon Wormling, which is found on page... It actually gives you the page numbers of what uh, the monster manual... of uh, what you can find in the monster manual. So if I roll a 3 to a 4, which is a CR7, I get a Young Copper Dragon. And if I roll a 5 or a 6, which is a CR14, it's an Adult Copper Dragon. Or a CR, CR21, which is a 7 to an 8, which is an Ancient Copper Dragon. <laughs> so good luck with that encounter, folks. It's pretty serious pretty quickly. So, so I opened the, the deck I opened here is the Wandering Monsters deck Wilderlands setting. The rules are exactly the same as it is with all the decks. You roll for a random encounter, and what you roll on the D6 determines the challenge rating and the actual creature or group of creatures that you'll be encountering. So just looking at this card from the Wilderlands deck, a one to two on a D6 gives you a challenge rating encounter of one to four. You'll encounter one D4 bugbears. If you roll a three or a four, you'll get a challenge rating encounter of a five through eight, and you'll encounter one D4 plus one bugbears and a bugbear chief. Uh, five through six on the D6 gives you a challenge rating encounter of a nine and above. You'll encounter one D6 plus two bugbears, also two bugbear chiefs. So as you can see, it gets it gets pretty nasty the so higher you get on those challenge rates. Let me ask a question because I can't yeah. see the card from here. Yeah. So I heard you say there was two different types of creatures on a couple of those. Does it actually give you the page numbers for both uh, creatures individually? Or yes, is it, it does. Just... It tells you the bugbears can be found on page 33 and the bugbear chief can also be found on page 33, <laughs> but, but it is pointed out. So any creature that you encounter on these cards that you'll be encountering in your campaign, you'll know where to find them in the monster map. Oh, okay. So you know what? I actually just cracked open the Dungeons version of the Wandering Monster deck while you were reading that. And as funny as it might sound, this card also has two creatures on it. Uh, so the the if I roll the D6 and I get a 5 or a 6, it's a CR 9 plus. And it's 2d8 plus 10 skeletons. Skeletons. Yeah, which are found on page 272. 
plus an additional 1d2 Minotaur skeletons, which is found on page 273, and one Flame Skull, which is found on page 134. Okay. So that's actually that's pretty interesting. I'm opening the Wandering Monsters deck underground deck right now. And let's see what we got here and what we can encounter in the underground setting. So the card I've chosen here from the underground deck has you roll a D8 for your challenge rating. If you roll a 1 through 2, the encounter will have a challenge rating of a 1. You'll encounter four goblins, and the goblins can be found on page 166. Uh, 3 through 4 in your D8 gives you a challenge rating uh, of a 2. You'll come across four goblins and a goblin boss. 5 through 6 on your D8 gives you a challenge rating of a 3, and you'll come across four goblins, a goblin boss, and a bugbear. 7 through 8 gives you the highest challenge rating of a 4, and you'll encounter, again, four goblins and a bugbear chief. You want to roll low on those D8s and those D6s, or else you'll, <laughs> your, your party's going to be in trouble. Bugbears so, and goblins, not so bad, but ancient dragons, they're, they're, they're gonna, they can end your campaign. So now, board. here's another thing, too. Some of the cards also go to a D10. So those challenge ratings get a little bit trickier. So let's read one of the D10 cards from the dungeon setting. But right. what's, what's the challenge rating 17? That's what I want to get to. So this card here... <laughs> if you roll a 9 or a 10, it's a challenge rating of a 17 plus. So you're fighting 1d8 plus 8 cultists, 1d4 plus 1 cult fanatic, and an archmage. Yeah, yeah. So, some, of, some of these encounter they're, they're, they're party killers. They're party, yes. So if you're, if you're oh, rolling, a ra like, if you're, like if your DM is legitly rolling a random encounter, yeah. and yeah. you're a level 5, and you roll a 9 or a 10... Good luck. <laughs> Good I don't even know. <laughs> you better you better have some high diplomacy. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> yeah, and keep it with with the theme of a lot of the items offered by Nord Games. These decks can really flesh out your campaign when you're randomly coming across some monsters. Rather than choosing something from the monsters manual, you can get something here with an appropriate challenge rating for your party, or you can randomize it and uh, really terrorize your party with some specific encounters for these monsters. And again, depending on the setting of your campaign, you can customize it to that as well. So these wandering monster decks currently retail at $15 a piece. Go on over to Nord Games, pick up a few decks to flesh out your campaign, and you can use our promotional code from Audio Dungeon, which is Audio Dungeon 15. It'll give you 15% off of any item that's not currently on sale. Thanks, guys, for joining us once again for another review. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. If there's anything particular that you'd like us to go over or you'd like us to review or unbox in the future, don't forget to leave it in the comments below.